you're live. We're on. Let's raise this up a tiny bit. Maybe a tiny bit more. There we go. How's that? You like to lead back, see? You think you take a nap? No. No, just wait for, well, two eggs is here. Jason! The tile expert. I guess Ron just calls them eggs now. <laughs> <laughs> two eggs in a basket. Two eggs, one basket. Then it was two eggs. Now it's just eggs. Hey, eggs. <laughs> We're back. We made it back. We're here. Huh. Yeah. It was a lot of weekend. Yeah. A lot of screaming. <laughs> That's not how I would view the weekend, but it was fun. But it was it was a lot of screaming. Baby scream. Are you cold? What, your phone mess up? Mm -hmm. I'm not cold. I have a sweatshirt on. Okay. Anyway, Phil Par Presnell is here. No, well, I won't. I won't get to see. What? I won't get to make comments. It's on good sometimes. You want my phone instead? Mm -hmm. ah, as long as I can do that there. It's back. It's working? No, no, it's not. Whatever. That's okay. Back again. Well, I can watch it. She's having technical difficulties. Hello, Ronald Sova made it on time this week. <laughs> You're one minute late. Time change uh, adjusted you out finally. Yeah. We were gone all weekend, so. Drove all the way to Little Rock in the raid, huh? Yep. Horrid raid. And the car never leaked once. No, car doesn't. Car was perfect. Car runs good, looks good. If anybody's looking for an SRX, a black one, we found another. We one. found one. Pretty good price too. Really good price. Yeah. Low miles. You no, know, lower than ours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They seemed to run a long time, so it took one minute to Is type my, my hello. <laughs> oh, okay. You're forgiven. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> Everybody's good to go here. We're just trying to wait. There's five people. I guess we could talk to five people. Look at that. Four thumbs up already. That's pretty good for five people, see? Man, that last video is still going, man. I was That last live really cranked. I was surprised. You guys did awesome. <coughs> yeah. Eggs. Says his Wi Fi slow tonight, not going to be chatting much. Oh, yeah. The Darla's isn't working, is it? Yeah, I can't, I can't chat at all. You see if mine works. Maybe you could <laughs> use it. How's that? I, I don't usually chat. I can read it. Well, you usually, you're on my phone as much as I am most of the time anymore. Is I, there's that place. Did you see that? Yeah. Anyway. Let's see if we can come up with this thing. I don't even know how to get on it. I don't need it. I'm telling you. You don't? Okay. If you say so. So. Commercial. We haven't been on here five minutes and we already got commercial. For everybody or just you? For me. Yeah. That's all right. We're making money. Big money. Big money. Big money. Big Made money. about three cents on that one. Anyway, we're... uh. So how goes the tiling, Jason? We don't have any content tonight. <laughs> we're just we're just here to to be here and talk to you guys. If you guys got any, we'll make it an open forum tonight. You yeah. can ask us any question. Doesn't mean we'll answer, but you could ask <laughs> us. There's Rosebud. Hey, Rosebud. I know that didn't pop up on here. And uh, yeah, because we're. We went, we went to our oldest daughter's house for the weekend. We hadn't seen them since we got back from Arizona. And, uh, Two and a half months ago. 
two and a half months ago. So we went over there and spent a couple of days with them. And, and then they went look at a property today and sent us a picture of, of doo doo. No? Oh. They sent a picture of doo doo, though. Terry Burns is here. What do you think about Winnebago Tour? 42 foot tag axle. What? And I looked at it yesterday. Has it got the Mercedes engine? Or does it or does it have a Cubbins? Oh, Sammy Gloves is back. Your gloves friend is here. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We missed you last week. Yeah, well, I mean, we got to get people here. There's Mark. Hey, Mark. Do you have any disposable gloves, Probably. surgery gloves, rubber gloves, have, or cleaning gloves? We have some dirty gloves. If you'd like, we could. Yeah. <laughs> Garden gloves. I have the ones I use on the septic. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Those are the ones I have. Hello, I, I actually gloves. have trash gloves, too, in the truck. That's what I got. Those are my gloves. Not laurels here. All right. Now we're getting some people. Yeah, like I say, we, we uh, don't we don't really have heavy thoughts yet as of tonight. So we're just kind of here. Other than it's supposed to rain again. All right. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to to Little Rock the other day, man. I mean, it was just pouring the whole oh, way, the there. way there. Yeah. And I thought we were going to hit rain on the home. Hey, on Amanda. The, coming home, we didn't get any today. Hey, Mr. Dan, help the brave. Yeah, there he Good is. To see you. And uh, yeah, so nada, huh? Not a lot. No nada. raid, no raid. But we did go to a Chicken Express. Imagine that. It was oh, really good. Chicken Express. It was really good. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's got to try that at least once. Yeah, Mark says raining here all day. You guys are kind of in the same weather system as we are up there, I think. Except you get more snow. Well, it's it's trying to rain here. Well, it's gonna rain. Definitely gonna rain. Okay, so it's it's a tour, right? What a big old tour. Um, what do I think of it? What chassis does it does it have a? It has a tag. Mm -hmm. Hey May, how you and Jason doing? How old is our dog? He's he's five. He's five in July he'll be six. Um, is it a Spartan chassis? What chassis 2010. is it? Two thousand ten. Well, I have to be honest with you. Anything past two thousand eight, I I'm not real excited about. They that seems to be when they started to have a lot of problems with them. You kind of roll the dice. Sometimes you get a good good one. Sometimes you don't. I've had some friends that have bought newer ones, and then they sell them and go back <laughs> to the older ones. I know the older ones aren't doesn't they don't have all the shiny stuff, but uh, they seem to be uh, easier to maintain and seem to be a little more reliable and put together a little tighter. But you you know the the trouble with all RVs is you never know what you got till you buy them and you get out on the road and find out all the problems. You either got problems or you don't, and they all have problems. So it doesn't matter. Everything's going to have problems, but some of them just more than others. True that. Um, I mean, it's about to snow tonight. Windy as heck. Wind is cold, but not bad. Other than that, thirty-five days. Woo yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It Countdown. Was, like watching the hours, the grains of sand in the hourglass. It was always pretty <laughs> nasty. The weather was always pretty nasty for us. And you got you have our old ship still, right? Yeah. Well, it's a freight lighter chassis. Um freight lighter chassis fall under the category of good. Uh the thing with a freight lighter, they seem to be not quite as heavy duty as uh, a Spartan. 
Yeah, if you could get a covered Spartan chassis, Alice, you know, Alice at six feet, that's the best mechanical you're going to get. And the newer Spartans are going to be a IFS front end. Ours is a drop axle. I wish it was an IFS, but drop axles are okay. They just ride a little rougher. Yeah, weather has been better than last year. Well, that's encouraging. Yeah. <laughs> We're still looking for people for uh, fireworks. For fireworks, if anybody's interested, uh, we still have uh, openings, and we're we're been kind of whole off. A couple of people have been talking to us that are wanting to. Uh, we have a couple of places they would like to be, and uh, we're going to give them till the end of the month. And then we're well, probably this week we're going to make the video, yeah, and then we're going to put it out there the for the for everybody. <laughs> We've been just advertising on our lives so it seems like uh when we put it out there for everybody it gets a whole lot more traction but um i feel the people that that watch our lives and we've kind of got to know i i would they should have first dibs. they should have first dibs and give you a chance because it is a, if you're a full-time rver and you're work camping it it's probably one of the better jobs that you'll get definitely yeah and high the jobs we've done it's the easiest and that the best part about it is is you're going to make the type of money that it's you would make if you worked all paying, summer it's the best paying job we've ever had yeah you go you can work a month and you you're done and you you get the rest of the summer off or you can work at a campground and work all summer long and when you get all done you you see you don't come out that you know with uh, a lot of money in your pocket so hey tim baxley welcome welcome but you could be a, you, you could stay at places where you want to stay too that's that's an advantage to work at a campground you know if you want to be up by what is it uh, what was that lake up there flathead lake in montana <laughs> then you can go work at a campground all Which summer long until the fire started well the, the smoke the smoke was terrible the yeah. job was difficult yeah and you know you you get out you get done working and you don't really get to spend a lot of time going and doing things. Some people do. Some people have a lot more energy than we do. <laughs> but um, you know, and Ura was pretty, but we oh, didn't yeah. get a lot of time off there either. We, we really didn't get a lot of time off there. That was our second work camping job yeah. when we left our house. Yeah, it was pretty. Uh, and we worked a split shift. You know, we had to that pay over seven hundred dollars a month for a campsite. Yep, because so, we didn't know. We yeah. were newbies. And you know, if you, if, I guess after you've been there like three years, and you you pay half price for your campsite. But the thing was, is the campsite. You know, we had no room on either side. I could barely go and dump the tanks, and we had not nowhere to barbecue or nothing. We were in the motorhome. We were sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> We did take uh -huh. some. We did take some drives around. Drive, though, yeah. You know. Yeah. We were virtually. We were working almost seven days a week. I think we were working six, weren't we? Yeah. Because we needed to. At that point in time, we were. We were the economic refugees for sure. Yeah, we, we were we needed had, we to make to, money. So. Yeah. And, and that's the thing. You can get ahead of the game. We're camping. I, I think it's getting a little tougher now. You don't have Amazon anymore. There's a different That's stuff true. that you that are not available like where when we first started. But uh, you can still make a living. And and the thing is, is you if you want to if you want to go to Tennessee or you want to go to Arizona or something, you can find jobs there. You know, um, you could go work fast food. You could do work RV dealerships. There's all kinds of things. We did that. We got our own job. We we worked at an RV dealer for two years in Montana. And the first year we had to stay, we had to pay for a campground. It was expensive. Yeah, it was expensive. And it's then they the had a. Thing that we could do. And there was a problem with the electric electricity, and it was real hot. We had to have the air run because we had yeah. Mac, our other dog, and we came home one day and he was on the bottom step and he was dying. Yeah. And uh, I mean, he was thing. just so hot. And I went and told the management, I said, the, the uh, 
breakers are, well, it's your RV. I said, no, it's not. That Everything is off. And what they had had is they had some, some kind of an equipment that was plugged in and it was overloading the system. And it, and it would blew the, blow the power and we had no power. We were running out. All we had were our batteries and our air wasn't working. So they did fix that, but that was not cool, you know. But, Live and learn, you know. <laughs> yeah, we did survive it. So you never know. Experiences are like that can be tough. But that this is part of the RV life, you know. It, it's like with gate guarding. When you gate guard, I always suggest to people too, you know, don't don't just like put everything out like you're staying for six months because you never know how long you'll be on a gate. Yeah, you might. You can be, be there, there two day. weeks. Yeah, you can be there well or two you weeks could. or you something. Could be there one day though. Yeah, they'll people. usually give you a few hours to get you know tore down, but they don't want you to have to take a half a day or you know whatever. They want you to be able to move when they need to move you. So. But that's just part of the so part of the deal. Ronald, my question on that Winnebago is what color was it? Yeah. <laughs> well, <I care>. well <laughs> yeah, there's a guy called the AZ AZ expert. And uh he used to think Winnebagos were really good, but the problems with the Winnebagos are normally the roofs. Yeah, they have a lot true. of problems with the roofs. And and they they're aware of it, but they're not taking it. They're not fixing it. So that's just how it goes, I guess. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. Okay. Yeah, and, and, and I mean, I've watched. If you watch him, AZ expert. He's that's all he does is RV. He's he loves the big Beaver motorhomes, which he refuses to ride the Beaver, but. Um, Beaver makes a makes a really nice RV, but they, they don't make them anymore, and and every, a lot of stuff was real custom on them. So, come to find out, it's hard to get stuff for. Sounds like it's raining. What? It sounds like it's raining. No. I think it's you on that chair. Let's see. Going to have it inspected. May roll the dice depending on inspection. Pre def. Yeah, that didn't start till thirteen. New. Uh, Michelin tires all the way around. One owner, owner very clean, 65,000 miles, 115,000. Hey, yeah. Charlie and Diane, welcome. And Kate says hi back to you, and we do too. <laughs> oh, there. Yeah. Mark says, let's not talk about roofs. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you know, uh, I don't know. Anymore, I think if uh, if we we were going to get a, a newer motorhome, I would probably look at. I still I still like Holiday Ramblers, or the thing with the Holiday Ramblers is the newer ones are basically Monaco's, and the real new ones are basically trash. Um, Ford Travel makes a good RV. Um, there's just. Uh, Hola, Miss Niha. But yeah, have, get it inspected <laughs> and and uh, and have a. I would take it to a mechanic too, not just an RV inspection. And one of the secrets with RVs are is turn everything on. You want the refrigerator running. Uh, you want to see if it runs okay on gas and if it runs on electric. If it's a three-way, you want to make sure it runs on your when your the motor's running. You have it on battery. Water here. People buy them, or they don't check all that stuff. And they, you know, I had a friend. I went up on. I went with him, and and uh, I told him to tell the guy to turn the refrigerator on before we got there. And we got there, and the refrigerator was off. And he goes, "Well, let me turn it on." And, and he turned it on, and I went up on. He went didn't know I was going to go up on the roof, and I went up on the roof. I told my friend, I said, "Dude, this thing needs a roof. This roof is junk." And the guy knew it. And the guy knew it. And but he wasn't going to tell. My and friend. yeah. And anyway, my buddy got $7,000 off the price or something over the roof. And it's a good thing he did because the refrigerator was no good. So he had to get a, a DDK. 
It's Sydney Wu. Mm -hmm. Ortho Crofty. Yes. Well, she's not an Ortho Crofty anymore, are they? They can't have chickens. Is that like don't clutter the issue with facts? <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Hi, Daddy O. <laughs> At least she didn't call you Pappy. That's my my daughter, the hippie. She's a hippie. Uh -huh. Surprised she doesn't ride motorcycles. <laughs> Daniel. And I did go to a. Uh, we have a new motorcycle shop in, in oh, town. Yeah. The other day we went over there. Real nice guys. Um, it's got a lot of bikes, man. I mean, I thought they were working on a lot of bikes. They were all his bikes. He had I, There was a couple of customer bikes in there, but maybe some opportunities there for me because the guy that works in there, he basically uh, does maintenance type stuff, service and stuff. And, and uh, but they don't do any motor work or any of that kind of stuff. So if they needed something like that done, I, I could help you them out. Yeah, somewhere to to work on it. I just work on it over there. Where? Well, they, they they're gonna the he's gonna knock a hole in that one wall, put a roll up door, right. and they're gonna put one lift in there. Which so she said hi, dad, dad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she always says hi, daddy. Yo, though. Tim says, order yourself a new coach. Everything works and the reverse is good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're only about a million and a half, too. Monaco also he likes. Um, well, now Monaco runs on Roadmaster chassis. So they have a, the Roadmaster has like this computer deal. And when that thing goes out, um, <laughs> There, it's real hard to get them fixed, but they just kind of like a monitoring system. It doesn't keep stuff from working. You just lose all your monitoring stuff. So Tim says, of course, it'll take a year to build after you spend a box full of money. What? Of course, it will take a year to build. Yeah, a new coach. Yeah, yeah, it takes a lot of money. They're like a million bucks, but they're nice, man. I bet in them. The Prevos. <laughs> The Prevos are nice, but they're like being in a tube. And you kind of, that's why they put all the mirrors and everything in there. They kind of make you not get claustrophobic. But the, anything, I think it's uh, newer than 96, 96 and newer, they have what they call the $50,000 uh, exterior service. Because they, they everything is is glued on. Oh, yeah. The stainless is all glued on, and when it starts just coming apart, they uh, they suggest you take it back to um, a full on Prevost dealer. Boy, they get you good for it. So she says. Yeah, Ford Travel used to too, but now they use the Spartan Daddy O. Okay. Here you go. Here you go. I got you. Okay. <laughs> Newell builds their own chassis. Tigner's here. Tigner's. Hey guys. Yeah, they. Good to see you. They went to a bar barbecue. Then. They went to a barbecue place and didn't, didn't, they didn't have beer. They, they were supposed they to bring didn't their own. Didn't either. Yeah. Oops. They didn't have beer. That's that. That's down there. I actually that old bridge. I think I drove over that old bridge wow. a long time ago. When I was young, when I was like 16 years old, I drove Back over that in the bridge. 1900s. <laughs> yeah. I drove the old Model T over it. <laughs> oh, the guest bathroom tub walls are grouted now. That's a huge, huge milestone. Yeah. Huge. There used to be down by there, too, going over the Gila River, Gila or whatever. Anyway, there used to be a different bridge they had for a while. While they were building the one that you drive over now, so there's been three. That one where, that that they left, and they left that because it was so old and special to you. Anybody else getting commercials? I am. <laughs> they closed that 1968. Well, then maybe I didn't drive over it. I know I drew drove over one of the temporary You'd bridges. Have been 12. You could have. <laughs> 
Yeah, I like safaris. Safaris are uh, safaris are one of the uh, industry secrets. Oh yeah. They uh, that yeah. trek is a pretty cool little gig, but they had some. They built some. They would do. They did some special ones. There was a guy that had a uh, a big block Cummins, a big cab Cummins, and a MD. Uh, what it was MD thirty sixty or whatever it is they they had he, he had it had all the really good stuff in it and uh, <laughs> mid entry diesel the whole thing it was it was a pretty nice rig though but you got to look around for the really special ones there's Maddie she made it hey Maddie and what's that email or Earth what is it E M I L Folsom see that right here. Yeah, email. E M I. <laughs> Are you watching our? Oh, she's watching a movie. <laughs> That's last week's video. <laughs> well, we got to get our views in somehow. Yeah, Tim actually the twenty-eight foot track. Uh, track, yeah. You know, for a while they used that little uh, diesel. Little, <laughs> they had a little tiny diesel of that didn't make much power. And then they were putting that six five GM in there, and that thing was not good. Oh, there go. Probably the the engine they have in that is probably the only one they have is the four fifty four. Uh, Cherry says on and off. The internet or something Bill said. I don't know. Where do you say that? Oh, on and off. I don't know. Maddie, the horses matter. So. You're excused. We're glad you're here now. <laughs> but did you miss? You, you missed asked about everything. Commercials. Okay, yeah. Commercials. Got it. Oh, yeah. I usually watch on the smart TV. We met at the big tent. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks for joining us. Have you been busy since the big tent? <laughs> are you still in Quartzsite? I know a lot of people are still. People are. There was a, I watched the other day, a guy was, guy said, oh, well, I, I guess it's time to leave courtside. He walked by, he had a little pile of wood. There was a rattlesnake in it. Yeah. So Definitely. that's how we know it's time to leave. Like the video, everyone. Thank you, Tigners. Yeah, I liked your video. Right okay. too. That was a good video. That little church is funny. Yeah. Well, you got it. It's a packed out sun, uh, Sunday service, right, guys? <laughs> it's cute. Everybody should be watching on Phil's internet because he's only got one commercial. Yeah, no kidding. Tigner Adventures also has a YouTube channel if you guys want to check that out. They do what, much better, funner stuff than we do. <laughs> they have what they call content. They do. <laughs> We're just irritating people that sit here and talk <laughs> nothing. Signers are going to make their way this way real soon. Another month. Yeah. Yeah. Ish. Five weeks. Actually, they before. they got to be here two weeks because it, that's when the when the deal's going to be going. What deal? What are they coming for? They're not coming to see us. They're coming to see the sun. Oh yeah, yeah. You guys, you guys got to get here quick. They were probably thinking, eh, well, we have to sacrifice something, so we'll go see them. <laughs> Definitely buying something in the next month or two. I looked at so many. They're all running together. True. Next year, we'll be hanging out in Quartzsite for January. Awesome. Especially yeah. if you're working the tent. That's crazy to have to. Yeah. Well, you were, you were there. Yeah, oh, January. Really, yeah. well, they, they stayed in the LVTA. No, they stayed in in the area, I think, where the campers, you know, the vendors and stuff were. I thought they were staying out oh, there. Oh, that's right. They were. You guys were L LVTA. Hey, Pep Tinks. How are you guys? Um, Using Google search Pixel 8 Pro, Phil says. Did you get your uh, Eclipse glasses? There's Pep Tink. I said, hey, Pepting. Emil said, Laughlin, Perump, St. George, Tuba City, and now Wichita Falls since Quartzsite. Okay. Wow, you've made some uh, 
some miles, huh? Hey, Trey and Wendy, we miss you guys. Well, Laughlin and Perup are right next to each other, kind of. Those St. George, that's all right there in that nice little area there. Yeah, but we're not staying in any one spot. Wichita Falls. Retired RV traveler. Retired traveler. Hey, hey. Yeah, Cage is right here. <laughs> He's tired. He spent the weekend in the. Well, he actually got to come out more this time. He right? did. We stayed in Scad and Wash down the road from the tent. That's right. We have glasses and are excited to see you guys. Yeah, we're looking forward. Don't to wear it. those when you're driving. They're not <laughs> sunglasses. They are <laughs> sunglasses, but they're Testing like. Testing says we're good. Working on cleaning out family storage. What a nightmare. I. Yes. Absolutely. No fun. No fun. I helped a guy a couple times with uh, storage things. And I got a tie reel to reel and gave me a bunch of stuff. That was kind of fun. Hardworking dog. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what his job is? Is sweating his next meal. He's always about two hours early on dinner time and breakfast and everything. He's had his puppy again in that spot. I think he, he got a tick. Yeah, he got a little tick on his head. But I he didn't get it here. No. I don't know. Anyway. Of course, our, now our lawn's mowed again, so we got to go get that. We take him to the doctor. It's like 80 bucks, but you got a thing for him, right? Coming, yeah. Oh, it's coming? Any day. You didn't, you didn't get it yet, huh? Not yet. Be there in two weeks. Be Hope we're open. It may be closed, huh? No. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Everything is sold out here. Um. But people told us that every campground, every motel room <clears throat> is closed out, is uh, sold out. From here? Oh, okay. So Emil, from here, from where he's at now, is going to New Orleans, back to Texas for the eclipse and the Alpha Rally, then home to Minnesota. Minnesota. That is some good. Some good travel. Yeah. Well, when we first started out, we we just kept we were always we were always, always going moving. somewhere, you know. The next job. The next, the next job. job. We just went from job to job to job. We had to do that. Because we were too young to retire. So. We, we were in our fifties and we liked, you know, eating out and going places and buying things and we still like that. We just can't do it anymore. <laughs> We have to be real limited, man. Man, I'll tell you what, going to the grocery store is 200 bucks a week. I don't care. It's 200 bucks a week. It's either a little more than 200 bucks or it's 200 bucks. Hey, Just... lonely hitchhiker cat. Welcome, welcome. Veal and, Dar Veal and Darla. Yeah. So RV retired traveler, are you, how long were you on the road when you retired from travel? Are you, or I are you traveling? Are you retired and traveling, or are you retired from traveling? <laughs> I should say that. Mega Van Mike, he's here. Hey, Mike. Yeah, uh, I see. I haven't watched you yet, but I, they went to Surprise. The Brewers are playing at Surprise now, Surprise Stadium. It used to be the Angels. Well, no, it was the Texas Rangers oh, and yeah. and then Kansas City Royals. I'm I uh yeah yeah because they did the the college. He says yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Okay, John. They <laughs> must be John. Oh, uh, let's see. No, only when they play a different team sometimes. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. We worked there. We worked at that stadium for many years. <laughs> she did center field. She ran the center field uh, concessions, and I did the one just to the right of home base. And then she got the one, the really big one, next to the to the other one. So we did both the home base uh, concessions. It was a pretty good gig. There's Trey. Hey Trey, how are you doing, buddy? How is James? 
James is not doing well. He's he he writes me and he just says, "Oh, I'm sitting here having my coffee and just happy I'm alive another day." So yeah. Thank God for another day. Grocery costs are way out of control. You are so right. Yeah, and the, and the worst and part Royal. about it is, is a lot of the stuff don't taste right. To me. Ranger and Royal Stadium. Like yeah. So that's still the same. Did you buy a, a $13 hot dog and a $15 uh, bomber? When the Dodgers came to play there, we had to take the lids off the waters. Because people would throw the bottles of water at, bottles of water at, the, at players. the players. If they didn't like what they what was going on, it was a terrible terrible time that that year because people get mad because you know water bottles are real squishy now they're not like the hard plastic that they used to be. How am I supposed to carry four so, bottles you know, of water? Four. Sometimes they get eight of them yeah. and they're like going like this and trying to walk and they're half empty by the time they they get back to their family. And I would I'd have uh, people at because we Darla and I were the we were the head leads or whatever the staff and my 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 cashier say this guy really d doesn't want these water caps and i look at him and where are you from oh i'm from la i gotta take the caps off <laughs> they were it, a rowdy bunch too they, yeah they would oh, get yeah. wild man they would get really, mad so really rowdy yeah well you know i mean look at all the california teams are leaving the the Raiders now are in Vegas, and the A's are going to. Everybody's going to Vegas, so I wonder what's going to happen there. Is it going to be rowdy there or what? I don't know. Where's Dougie? Dougie, are you watching? You're watching. Tell me, is it going to be rowdy there? You guys would like the new morning couple. They are doing well. They are good. Done fracking for a while. Oh, yeah, yeah, Yay. that would be so great if you guys didn't have to do frack anymore until you leave. Yeah. That would be so awesome. Yeah, I, I'm that, glad the other couple's good working out. The worst part about that place is when they're fracky, you got to put those stupid stickers on. You know, you got to pull them off the side, fill out all that paperwork and everything, and put a sticker on their truck. Yeah. I'll say most of the time, whenever we were on a frack gate, we always had to log the sand trucks in and out. It wasn't very often that we got to just let them run. Planting seeds and giving a little garden. Oh, yeah. I like fungus, carrots, greedy. Okay, well, we'll expect a basket of fruit vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got, a, we, we got a thing here. We could set up a garden. The trouble is, is we're gone. Yeah, so. we're, we're gone. We're going to be gone for five weeks, so. We need to. We're going to take care of stuff around here. We've got. People can't do it. We got people that work full time over here, and this lady over here is not really in the best health, and she works all the time, and she really can't do it. Wouldn't do it. Who? <laughs> Bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and and then there's a house over here. There, we've never seen anyone there. It, it's like supposed to have been like a weekend getaway for a Texas family. Never seen them. Not I've never seen anyone there. We've, we've owned it's a nice little place, too. But how many years? Yeah. I'll let you know how it turns out. Well, I'm excited for you. Anytime anybody can grow a garden. Yeah, you, you, you need, if you have any questions about gardening, ask Darla. She's the expert. Yes. Hey, I grew radishes last year in plain dirt. Yeah. Because I was like, oh, it'll be fine. They were about that big. They tasted <laughs> yummy, though. <clears throat> he's part of the reason I'm just not really pushing for a garden because he's like, oh, we'll till the dirt up and that'll be great topsoil. We'll just go that way. No nutrients. It's fine. Just throw the seeds in. <laughs> We're going to the same place, Trey. We're going back to the same place again. Thanks, May. We like that store. It's a good store. She told the new couple about our channel. Oh, yeah? Maybe that's why we've gone up. Yeah. We have. Yeah, it's been a good week for, uh, for YouTube, yeah. for us. So Shepherd, that's good. Shepherdsville, Kentucky is where we're going to be selling fireworks again. Yeah. It's fun there. The people are really nice. And Especially that Terry and Wes guy. Well, they're, awesome. they're nice, but they just hang around. They don't buy nothing. <laughs> that's not true. They West just come over to stuff. play with Cage. Wes bought stuff. Yeah. I was hoping for Wyoming. Yes. 
We're that's, trying to stay close to home. So that's where Jason and May May are going to go. May on the run. That's where they're going. Wyoming. Yeah. Thermopolis or something, right? Thermopolis. Yeah. yeah. We're going to have a couple more of Wyoming. And we've got uh, Indiana. we got Indiana. Illinois. And then we have four tents in Illinois. Illinois. Noise. Noise. Illinois. So, uh, yeah, if anyone's, if anyone's interested in that, uh, uh, economic refugees <laughs> RV at gmail.com, you could drop us a note and we can get you hooked up if you're interested in any more information. They have the same political views as you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody does. Any more, it's getting to be that way. It would be a lot less. So do you have um, robust conversations with them as well? <laughs> I think Jason learned. We, we, we don't, we don't go down that road anymore. I really, I, I don't say a whole lot about that stuff anymore. I just... I don't have to. All you got to do is open your freaking eyes. You'll know what's going on. Huh? That's what I think you learned. <laughs> yeah, well, I just don't. It's not worth getting in an argument no. with people. I mean, why, Why? you know, I mean, if, if somebody's a jerk about it, then they're just a jerk. You know what I mean? But uh, if they're if they're cool in every other way, then don't worry about it. Just don't talk about it. You know? I have a lot of weird ideas. I just don't talk about <laughs> Married a weirdo. <laughs> She's still trying to figure out these machines over here. We got another machine. So now it's going to be longer before we can tell you everything. But I'll tell you what, it's working pretty good on my leg. <laughs> said, no, you guys are the only ones he talks to about it. Really good. <laughs> it's Wendy and Will. My name is Jason. It's Wendy and Will. Yes, we were all together at court site. So yeah. that's why everybody, for the people that don't know, Peptic and May on the Run. Usually money. Terry uh, or Trey is there. Yeah, let's see who else yeah. was. Who's usually there? Uh, Mega Van Mike and, and Lisa mm -hmm. were there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we had a pretty good turnout. Taylor was there. Florida. Monty and the Murphys, hello. Oh, yeah, I remember you. Yep. Monty and the Murphys. Yep. <laughs> you have a good buddy we call him Murphy. Murph. Murph. It's the courtside crew. Yeah, we did have fun. Yeah, hopefully we we could go back. I guess I guess they're getting a lot of gate guards from our thing there at courtside, but we'll never hear about it. It's only trouble. <laughs> we don't ever we never get any of this for that. But <laughs> that's all right. We worked really hard on it. Yes, they're so crappy. Yeah, Probably. Jerry and Nedra. Jerry and Nedra. Yeah. We miss you guys too. Really do. Yeah, well, you're you're coming here. Hopefully, hopefully I have some electrical for you. Pepsi. Pepsi yeah. You want to get those storage just cleaned out? Hit the road. In our lifetime, I'm not worried about you. It's just us, you know. We're getting... <laughs> I miss Quartzite Crew too. Yeah, it was fun. So, Monty and the Murphys, where are you guys now? You're traveling, right? Remind me. Doesn't want to. Uh, you know what's going to be wonderful is to sleep in our bed tonight. Provided there's no ants. Well, that we, we found out one thing about the spooky two gets rid of ants. <laughs> uh, New Orleans? Yeah, it does. I mean, that's where you're at now? Wow. Okay, cool. Funny how parents used to threaten their kids if they didn't clean up their act, they'd wind up living in a van down by the river. And now that's my dream. <laughs> yeah. My little hippie. That's my little hippie there. <laughs> well, you had she she had a beautiful motorhome. She traded it for a bad husband. <laughs> you know, I the man has no filter. You know this. You're his daughter. Yeah. No filter. 
Well, that's the only I way I keep Florida her. Florida from... on Wednesday. Finally, everybody's all happily buried. <laughs> except oh, for her. Yeah, yeah except for me. <laughs> She's buried to cage. So let's see, Monty. And Emil. What? They're both. What was that noise? My computer, computer over there, yeah. They're both. Uh... Well, let's see. Emil's from New Orleans. Monty's going back to New Orleans. And going to Florida. Florida. I tell everyone about you guys from G1. Our new manager knows all about yeah. you guys. She loves James and Gaylord. Yeah. I'm glad she's, uh, I'm glad you guys have someone up there. You yeah, good. Yeah, we, James, James texted me this morning, huh? Yeah. Yeah. He just want to let me know he's still, still kicking. So what a good guy he is, man. We miss him like to go see him, but we'll just have to see how that goes. Need to get a fingernail. Did I get one? No, we need to get one yeah. from James. Oh yeah, she gets things done, yeah. Well, the the just watch though. See, the, the thing is, is the burnout. The, when you get a really good supervisor, then they get burnt out. So that's what happened to Teresa, I think. Yeah, she's. Teresa was doing a. We heard she was doing a, a killer job. Teresa, what's her name? Burr. 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 And she just, she just burnt out, man. She couldn't take it no more. But you know, Colorado's yeah, that's a long trip. Terry yeah. sent you that. Tell Billy may need to pick up some of this with the store. What is it? Hamburger? No. Have you tried any Terry? Oh, mystery meat. <laughs> Have you guys heard of barbecue? Do you know who he is? If, He's a person. Do you know who he is? Thunder squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> he likes eating arms and legs. Pothole possum, scattered skunk, dashboard deer. Porcupine, I'm not eating porcupine that. Porcupine pulp. That minced, sounds like something Leah would minced eat. Minced mongoose. <laughs> Sorry. Plant-based meat, 0% vegan. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, you know what? Um, just to kind of... I hate to say stuff like this because it kind of jinxes, but... Last week, everybody hit the, the like button, button but and it, we did really good. Um, our video got really spread around, so I appreciate that. Thank you for doing that, guys. You're awesome. You're the best best YouTube audience that I know of. Of course, I guess... You guys are the that. best one we have. Yeah. The only True. one. True story. <laughs> you saw it on internet. Yep. Well, we we should be getting it, well now. Of course, it's the weather's been kind of crappy, but we should be getting going on that building. Lonely hitchhiker, <laughs> only one, huh? Another commercial. I love my YouTube followers sticker. Just saw it on the internet. Terry says. And May loves us. Leah makes gross stuff like plants. <laughs> yeah. Leah eats boogers. Don't tell her kids. Oh, no, she used to feed them to the dog. <laughs> All secrets are, you don't want to be my kid. I, you, no kidding. I'd tell the whole world every bad thing you've ever done. If I had enough time. Let's see. Like your I love. My CPA one, Dad. <laughs> yeah, someone asked me, what's a CPAW? <laughs> I go, CPAW? <laughs> yeah, you got a sticker on the back of your truck that says, I said, CPA. <laughs> he was 
Yeah, and my did. daughter, that's the CPA, gave me that. Said, "Dad, you got to put this on your truck." Oh, well, it's on there. You need, you need an "I love my YouTube followers" sticker. Yeah. We love you guys too. Yeah. All of you, all of you. <laughs> well, we got to make sure they love us first. You know, you never know. Sticker needs KG on it. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Like, like this, May May. <laughs> <laughs> I don't you know, you, 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 you got to be gentle with money. See, see how you work that? But, well, well, everybody's at home going now. Oh, God, I'm all busy. <laughs> <laughs> we do psychedelic trips for you guys. Okay. I, I love watching you guys so much. I watched you three times. <laughs> Mark keeps getting bumped to the beginning again. <laughs> You're just getting the long version. Like <laughs> Light Mark. My Fire. Remember that song? For those of you that don't know and aren't on here every week, every time Mark watches it, he watches a few minutes and then it bumps back to the very beginning. <laughs> you know what? You're you're just our um, guinea pig. We're trying that feature out on you and seeing how you like it. And then we're going to hit everybody else with the same thing so we can get more views. <laughs> so Mike's asked me why he said I asked you why you love your CPA because well because it's my daughter yeah. Yeah. that's why I love my CPA I love all my kids it's funny it never happens on any other channel <laughs> what oh <laughs> <laughs> you see this little uh. button right here <laughs> You want to go for another ride here? <laughs> <laughs> that is weird. <laughs> we really don't have a, that feature. What's funny is so he <laughs> he he gets the he gets the re the rewind. That's what it's called, the rewind version. Uh, yeah. You could just walk it, watch it backwards. Probably be. I wonder if you have it on loop. I don't. I don't think it loops so until we're done and then it starts over. <laughs> I don't know. I remember at one time, Naked Van Mike told me that he put our content on, on um, what do you call it, consecutive, where you just get to run through all the videos, <laughs> and he just leaves his computer running, so we'd get... Yeah, so everybody do that for the next six months. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have zero subscribers if you do that. Right. <laughs> I'm watching it on my iPhone. Oh, well, no wonder. That's Japanese or some Chinese, it's, huh? It's Apple. It's Apple. <laughs> I don't know. I used to have a iPhone 6, I think. Four. Four? <laughs> what? Yeah. And I, I gave it to my it nephew, a... and he took it to, to have it turned on and said, <laughs> no, they don't have frequencies for that anymore or something. We don't. We don't. Yeah. These don't work with our uh, towers anymore, is what they said. When we used to, well, we had our we had an electronics company back in the eighties, <laughs> and I, I uh, got tired of, you know, I'd go down to the Los Angeles area. I bought defective <laughs> electronics, and I had a crew of techs, and they would refurbish the units, and we'd repackage them, and we'd sell them to like discounters and, and swap good. meters, be goods. They had refurbished stickers on them, and we warranted them and everything. And I'd be going down to buy, to, to go meet with the owner of a company or something, and i get stuck in traffic, and by the time i get there, they'd be gone. They'd leave, because they, they didn't know. You know, we didn't have phones, cell phones back then. So I bought this phone. It, the, the VHF. The, yeah, VHF phone. It was about, about this big, and it had a rotary dial on it, and it had a thing, and you picked it up. It had like 16 channels. And you click through until you finally get a dial tone, and then you would dial it. And but I loved that phone; it worked really, really good. It had like a hundred and fifty mile hour ra mile range, where the cell phones you get anywhere outside of town back in, when they first came out. And he thought you, it was so cool. The yeah. first month he had it, we had a five hundred dollars. Eight hundred, eight hundred. But the company paid it. But it was our company. Our so. company. Same anyway, <laughs> and, and people, I had a guy one night get my van. He's like. Dude, what's that? A CB? I said, no, it's a phone. He goes, no. Nah. I said, 
I said, yeah, it's a phone. He goes, I could pick that up and call my house right now, huh? I said, yeah, he could. And I said, here, try it. I got him a dial tone and he called. And he was like, can I call a bunch? I said, no, once enough. <laughs> I think it was like 50 cents a minute back it was, then. Yeah, it was like, it was like $60 a month and 50 cents a minute. Yeah, back then, that was big money. But if I, if I, I when I was traveling, if I had to try to get off the freeway and go to a pay phone and find Maybe one that worked, work. <laughs> I mean, I, I lost money because of that. I missed a couple of really good deals. So but sometimes I buy, I, I go to Sirwood Vega, buy speakers. I bought all kinds of stuff, man. I, phones, VCRs, you name it. I, if I thought we could fix them, I'd buy them. Mark said it never happens on any other channel. Yeah. Only yours. It must mean it's worth watching again and again and again. <laughs> he had a bag phone. We still had a bag phone too after that VHF one. Yeah. Oh, they, they, the phone company called, said they, they sent me a thing and they said uh, <laughs> that we're going to be shutting down the system that we would give you $100 towards going to getting a cell phone. And right to uh, held out, held out, held so out. So finally, Finally, one day I got a call from a supervisor. He goes, "Hey, uh, we're we're uh, we're going to shut this thing off." You out? And I said, "Yeah, I'm sure. There's probably a bunch of people still out." He goes, "You're the only one." <laughs> he goes, "We're shutting it off today, so you better go." So we got a Texotic backbone, and that yeah. thing worked pretty good too, though. Some of that stuff, you know, if you still had it. it I it just I don't know. It's, yeah, it's, I wish I would have kept that backbone. It was cool. Yeah. But it was, it, it was it, it, and it was push button too. But so. it was big too. Well, it was about those like things like you watch old movies and it's like like a walkie talkie, like from World War II. Yeah. <laughs> You're walking down the street. <laughs> I'm so cool with my walkie talkie. I remember the first time, first time with that little ear thing and this. Oh yeah. It, 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 talking to himself. This is a. There was a black guy and he was talking. I'm thinking. Boy, this watch dude, this, line. I'm going to watch this guy. I think he's crazy or something. They turn around. I see this thing hanging out of his ear. I, go, blue, I look at him and he goes, oh, it's it's a new thing, man. <laughs> I go, oh, okay, cool. So. so many weird things that are not, they're just common everyday things now. Yeah, Lonely Hitchhiker, he says if the payphone was even still there. I had a Motorola bag phone, too. See, Maddie could, compares this to a drug. <laughs> We're a psychedelic uh, drug, man. We sh we should have ERRV uh, twelve step program. Yeah. How to get you hooked even deeper? A lonely hit hitchhiker. You're not supposed to put those old phones in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those were those were the days, huh? Who knew? I mean, look at this thing. It's fully a computer, right? You just yeah. The thing about it is, it tells your whole life to, to someone. Talk to it, and it will give you suggestions oh. for whatever you're what talking were you, about. What were you, you were we were talking about something the other day? I was talking it, to a person, and they said that they were related to the specific family in the area. And never have I ever had this name pop up in people you may know, but I sure did. Twenty minutes later, on my phone, on yeah. Facebook. One day, we were, one day we were talking about name. dog food or cat food or something. And then for like a week, we were getting oh, all yeah. these advertisements on Facebook and everything. They're all connected. They're all connected. So <laughs> crazy. It's, uh, but you know, we're conspiracy Hey, look through. at there. My get first day. We were, we had thousands, thousands and thousands of ads. Every morning I'd come out to get my coffee and they, They'd end up in my cup, and, and I mean, in the creamer. They were in everything. And they went away for the weekend and came back. And, and they're gone, pretty much. Pretty That's much the first one gone. I've seen. I'm sure they'll be back, but I right now I'm not running the frequency. Oh, I'm, really? It's off? Yeah. Well, no wonder. That's why he came back. That's why. Like, the door's open. <laughs> Harvey Bandwagon. Scott's hey, here. Scott. Welcome. Manscaped ads? Oh yeah. no! <laughs> what were you talking about? <laughs> We just said they listen. Yeah, they do. 
What are our ads? Would you they do a commercial? What are they doing on that? I wasn't even paying attention. Lawnmowers. Lawnmowers. Must think, think we have a bunch of hillbillies out here, huh? Manscaping lawnmowers? <laughs> That's like in Arkansas, man. Sometimes you mow your lawn, you find a car you had yeah, seen for a long time. I mean, what's weird is right now it's like the end of being able to see everybody's houses and yard art and stuff in the next couple of weeks after this rain's out. over and the sun comes out it's going to be green and everything disappears everywhere you go it's like you're driving through a tunnel <laughs> rogaine romaine rogaine like rogaine for your rogaine. hair i nobody wrote romaine no <laughs> i got you Katie's up. What are you doing, buddy? Good morning, bud. It's his bedtime. It's past yeah, it his is. bedtime. Lawnmower 5.0. We have a video we watch every night at 7 o'clock, and he goes and tears the bed all up, gets it ready for me to come in, and we go in there and turn that video on. He loves it. That's his big tig, huh? Yeah. Bedtime's always that and dinner and breakfast and yeah. lunch. He has a schedule. And his, you need to be on his schedule. And his schedule is our schedule well not you you stay up yeah but i mean i'm sitting over here at the computer and he comes up to me and pushes me <laughs> every time he thinks and this starts at 2 30 and he doesn't eat till 5 30 so you know what and ron's out here tonight where's yeah. ron we miss you ron hopefully you're catching that on the replay lawn mowing time i hate it will you have a ride on lawnmower terry we the lady next door mows our lawn. Yeah, we came back today and the lawn was mowed. Yeah, we needed it too. So she'll be coming over to visit. <laughs> <laughs> when we came back from from Arizona, she didn't, she didn't even. I it come was outside. two weeks before we. Yeah. And then we went over there and said, "Hey, you okay?" Yeah. Because <laughs> usually when I the said, weather's well, nice, you don't. Right we over. don't owe you anybody, huh? She goes, "No." <laughs> But we owe her money. She's over she's here. She's really nice. Yeah, she's cool. We love Patty. We, uh, we this have town, all our neighbors that we've met so far. You have a zero turn. It won't turn. <laughs> I still hate it. My knee is killing me when I go to get off of it. Ah. Uh. Mm. Yeah. Well, see. Welcome to old age. Yeah. My knee hurts me just laying in bed. <laughs> yeah. That's getting better. My leg's doing better. Really is, truly. I wore my new shoes, my new Skechers all weekend. Yeah, that's something. Yeah, I could before I could wear them for more than fifteen minutes. Your foot's getting better, or your shoes are getting broken. <laughs> I think it's my foot getting better. It didn't matter, you know. Yeah. But you know what? It, it's not on my. It's not working right now, huh? No. I can feel it. I have to go figure out how to hook it up again and do a different thing. As soon as we get this thing figured out, we're going to educate you guys on this, and you're going to be you're going to be tripped out when you find out what all this stuff is. I do have a discount code in case anyone is interested. Yeah, it's uh, it's not anything we do. We don't get nothing off, but it's mm -hmm. quantum entanglement. Right, that's not the discount code. No, but quantum entanglement is what this does. Is what this does. So if you look that up. It's spooky. It's spooky too. Squared. That's what the two is. Is it? Mm -hmm. Spooky squared. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Now we have two machines. How many more machines are we gonna get? Yeah, Pretty we'll soon you'll just be able to send this fingernail. Yeah, and we'll fix you. And we'll heal you. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Terry, we're about the frequency therapy when you get up there. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. we'll have the machines with us. They're going to be running all the time from now on. We're going to have to do something special to be able to run them while we're traveling. Yeah. Because that, that gets, that the left side of the motorhome gets, electricity gets shut off right. with where it just runs off the inverter. So right. I'll have to run an extension cord over there. Mm -hmm. But we'll do it. We'll get it. So, because it does definitely make a difference. Definitely. Yeah. Monty and the Murphys. My hubby just took me, just looked at me with one eyebrow up. 
<laughs> Thinks we're nuts, huh? <laughs> you know what? There's all kinds of things about this world that we don't know. We we don't we don't know what's uh, what I the deal is. I can remember when you didn't have a cell phone and you got just as much stuff done. You might even have gotten more stuff done, truthfully, Ronald. <laughs> yeah, I. So do you have to I be don't... with an earshot of a spooky too? No. No, you can be anywhere you in the be, world. You can be anywhere in the world, on the other side of the world, anywhere. The, the machine was here and running all weekend, and we were there, and I could feel if you look it going up through the cycles. Entanglement, it explains it better than I can put into words. Um, what it, what it what it means and how it works, and how very weird it is, but it really does work. When when she it you can't hear it. No. With the machine, if you use your cell phone, if you go on Spooky 2 on YouTube, you can listen to frequencies because the 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 phone does not use quantum entanglement. The phone doesn't have the um, hertz right. capacities but for the, frequencies that the But the machines, the machines do. And we have one of the really good ones, and then we just got a... a a single it's for the ads. like what you'd call a first generation. The but there, the thing about it is, is like we're gonna we're gonna do stuff on the dog too, and we'll keep we'll once we get done with the app thing, and <laughs> and then we'll get the dog hooked up, or um, if somebody needs some help or something, we could try it. You know, I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, how it works will work for everybody i don't know if it works for everything but uh i know i had it works for you right now yeah i i was for almost two years almost unable to walk at all i go to walmart and i just stand with the cart in one place and she'd run and get stuff but I went Which on. always made me wonder why he gets the cart and i get an armful of groceries and yeah. i'm like where'd he go Where'd he go? yeah I just stand, but I I turned on Spooky Two frequency for neuropathy on YouTube on my phone, and I set it on my chest and let it run, and it changed my life that first time I tried. And we went to there was a there's a clinical place with doctors and everything in Conway, Arkansas, and I we went there to that place. And they wanted over nine thousand dollars for what we yeah. got, and um, and they were just going to give us the machine and send us home, and we still had to figure it all out. And so we started researching it. And I have this guy that's kind of like the guru of every conspiracy and weird thing, and and he's I mean this guy is a, a he's the real deal. And I contacted him and I told him I said hey I. You know, I I was telling him about this. He goes, "Oh, you mean Spooky Two and Spooky Two, and that's what started, got us going down this road." And pretty interesting. And you look it up, and if I mean, if you've got if you got a if you got some kind of a problem, you could go. But you gotta, like I say, I just took it, and just set it right here, and it had a frequency. And I some of the frequencies you could hear better than others. And I I did a couple of frequencies and. It started feeling better. I started walking better. And then she says, well, we should probably get this machine because then it's always going. And it doesn't matter where you're at. You're 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 being healed. So. And the big secret that people don't know is, is that's what the the Hollywood people and the politicians and all those. They, they call them med beds, but they're this is what it is. It's frequency <laughs> stuff. So. <clears throat> Taylor Rose, uh, we got the Gen X, which has two ports. And then we got, what's the last one we got? The last one we got the Gen XM, which is the older version that it has a booster on it too. It comes with a, well, it, it's on there. It's spooky, the number two, no space, dot com. And you can see all their packages that they have. And there's a chat. And they'll talk to you and suggest for you, you know, explain. They'll ask you, what do you need this for? And I told her, I said, you know. And you I need got... to get Darla's phone number so you have any questions, <laughs> any time of day or night, you can contact her. 
my phone number was the VHS. Bye, bye. It's been disconnected. Sorry. Bye, Lisa. <laughs> bye, yeah. bye. Bye, Lisa. Yeah. Why is well, everyone leaving? They they have company. They bought a company. Anyway, it, what was weird is is we found out we, we had a problem. The ants were getting in our bed, and it was it was a big like like this big area Quality. just looked black. It was just solid black, and they were they were behind our cover Headboard. on our window. And uh, anyway, she found that there was a frequency. And she found and she got the information. And she turned it on the next day. I mean, we had like, what did we see? Maybe eight, eight or ten. Yeah. Yeah. In the whole RV. And then we were gone all weekend. Everything's just, just sitting here where they had free raid. And you see seen, what, two so far? And I've seen one. And, yeah, it's crazy. Crazy stuff. So they don't, They're not sugar ants. No, they're crazy ants. They're, called, they're literally called crazy ants because they dart and they dart. and They're, they're fast. They don't leave a track because they're like, well, find the trail and then put boric acid down. That stuff doesn't work. None of the tarot doesn't work. None of the regular things that work with regular ants work. So I drove them insane with the frequency and they left. It was great. <laughs> hey, Julio. Lisa's dad and granddaughter here. Hey, Hi, Lisa's dad and Lisa's granddaughter. Julio's, he's still on the wrong time, huh? Julio is on the wrong time, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Yo. <laughs> what up? <laughs> I could still do that. It hurts, but no. Actually, hey, you know, which Taylor, weird... do you know about rife machines at all? <clears throat> wrong mind, too. <laughs> The ants wonder where the things were imported from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're hard to get in the U.S. You got to, you got to. They, they, you can't get them in the U.S. Yeah, you the US. well, you can get them in the U.S., but no. you can't you can buy get, them in the U.S. Right. You have to buy them out of the country. Yeah. But, um, Darla's doing pretty good on her Chinese. She's learning. <laughs> 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 a long ride too. Yep. Bye, Dan. Boy, Help everybody's bailing on us. What you know the that time it is? Yeah, well, look at. Is everyone bored yet? <laughs> That's what they're yeah. I would be. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, we should probably get off of here. We're only going to do 15 minutes tonight. We only did an hour extra. I am late because I was watching Bad Rat Trip to Glamis. Okay. That sounds really good. <laughs> we should tell you about our Glamis we've trip been to Glamis. sometime. One Not time. Bad rats, but we've been there. One time, and we will never One go time. again. Yeah. And Darla ended up socking some girl in the face or something. In the arm. In the arm. But she almost ran over me and my baby. Yeah. Literally my baby. The ants probably just walked. Right across the board. <laughs> Hopefully they're going that way this time, not this way. Oh, uh, we're gonna bust them to your house, okay? Yep. See how that works. <laughs> All right. Good. Sand is place you ever never knew you had. Sand is place you never knew you had. I don't know. Another commercial, Phil says. All right, now's a good time to sneak off. <laughs> All right, guys, we are going to let you, you have the rest of your everybody. Sunday night. Thanks for all the thumbs up. And yes, thank you very much. We appreciate you, you guys. Everyone, yeah. You're all the best. Talk to you later. Good night, guys. Bye.